Okay, this uh, video is for uh, Perrier to uh, show you how to uh, uh, adjust a CSS file via uh, uh, via FTP. Uh, now, uh, once you've got your FTP set, here's a here's my site I've got here. It's on Jamroom hosting, the same as your one will be. Uh, what you want to do is you want to set up your uh, FTP client. Uh, it's going to be that's going to be different for whatever computer you're using. Uh, this is my one here. Uh, on the left hand side I've got stuff that's on my computer uh, just in a blank folder and on the right hand side I'm logged into uh, uh, into my site via FTP originally when you uh, start logging in uh, you'll come to uh, here and then there'll be the names of your uh, <coughs> excuse me uh, the names of the sites that you've got on the server uh, choose the one you're interested in public HTML and then here is the base directory of your uh, jam room uh, site so we're going to go into skins and then whatever skin it is that you've got active at the at the, at the moment uh, so for me that's elastic and there's my css folder uh, come into here locate one of the uh, i think the one we've decided on is to use site.css copy that from uh, from the server onto your own computer and then you can open that with a uh, <coughs> uh, with whatever your uh, uh, text editor is uh, don't use like Microsoft Word or anything because it'll screw things up just a, a normal standard text editor uh, for me that's called Kate uh, is the name of my text editor and you'll see the contents of the CSS file there's a lot of them in there then uh, you just add in the uh, add in the uh, that, that code that I gave you uh, this is different but uh, just to illustrate the point that it's working uh, add extra code, save that, and that, then we can close that. Now uh, that's updated this file here, and now we want to copy it back up to the server. Copy it here. It's going to uh, prompt you to say, "Do you want to overwrite it?" Yes, you do. And that's copied that. You so you've copied the file down, you've changed it, and you've copied it back up again. And the, the changes should uh, should take effect as soon as you reset the cache, which is System Core tools reset caches and for me that uh, that refresh the page and there's the changes that I just made there um, <coughs> so that's how to how to change a, a CSS file directly rather than via the uh, the styles tab if you're going to add anything to a to a CSS file you have to do it directly it's a normal web de web development technique I hope that's useful